Now, in the middle of that turmoil at the moment is Michigan Supreme Court Justice Richard Bernstein. Blind since birth, he's there working on portions of the Abraham Accords to try to make life better for people with disabilities. So in essence, he's working on a peace accord while dodging missiles. With the Michigan State Supreme Court working virtually, Justice Bernstein figured, like many others, he could work wherever he had an Internet connection. But while Israel is a high-tech haven, it's also a war zone at the moment. We have to move a little quick because the, witchy, the, the missiles start coming around 11, 12. Yes, I've caught him while he's making his nightly trip to the bomb shelter in his building in Tel Aviv. So it gets pretty intense. Israel's vaunted Iron Dome is knocking most of the inbound missiles out of the sky. That doesn't mean there isn't an impact. Where you really feel it is when the Iron Dome impacts with the incoming missile and the entire building just shakes. Like, it just shakes. Like, it's just a very violent shake. And it just goes on and on and on and on. That, you feel it literally kind of in your entire spirit. Like, it just, boom! Whatever the danger, Justice Bernstein says it's worth it. Despite the violence we're seeing all over our screens, he believes the work on the Abraham Accords signed last summer is stronger than the missiles. Through the Abraham Accords, a cornerstone has been laid. And I really believe the window even though it's facing some challenges right now, is going to remain open and this is going to move forward. You know, I asked him about the criticism of a state Supreme Court justice putting himself in harm's way. Bernstein says he is tending to his Supreme Court duties but cannot pass up a chance at making a difference for people with disabilities.